Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorigan111, and I've got something special to show you guys today. It is Snake in Minecraft. It's kind of a little simulation of the Snake game, but it's not exactly a mini game because it doesn't have all the logic. So for example, I can have the Snake crash right through itself uh, and it doesn't seem to mind. But the basic idea is you control something on the video game screen over here. I can move to the right to make the Snake go right. I can move backwards in order to make the snake move down, etc., etc. And the point of all of this is I really just want an opportunity to show off some things that you can do with command blocks in the latest snapshot. And so this little mini game of sorts serves as an illustration of some of those concepts. And so I'm going to kind of walk through some of the redstone and command blocks that go on with this. But the first thing that I need to do is I really need to be able to kind of pause the simulation because you'll notice every few seconds or every second or so I get kind of teleported back into the same location facing the same direction. And I can turn that off by looking at my feet. I might have to try a few times. So basically if I look down, there we go, at my feet, that will pause the simulation. And then we can inspect the redstone and command blocks that are going on here. And there's actually not a whole lot. In fact, that's kind of all the game logic right there. Uh, there is also a pig up in the sky that we will come to in a moment. But let's go ahead and walk through this and explain the redstone and command blocks. All right, the first thing is we have a basic hopper timer right here where there's these two hoppers facing into each other and there's a single item that just kind of bounces back and forth and so that will cause these comparators to kind of fire one after another. It's not currently bouncing back and forth because we have a redstone block right here and that's as a result of pausing the game. Uh, every tick it goes and tests to see if the player is looking in a certain direction. In this case Rx minimum of 80, Rx maximum of 90, basically tests and see if you're looking down around your feet, 90 degrees would be right at your feet. And so if you're looking anywhere near your feet, this test four block will succeed. And as a result, send power to this block, which says set block minus one for redstone block. And so basically that just relatively spawns a redstone block right here which serves to pause the timer, because whenever redstone is powering a hopper, the hopper won't transfer its items back and forth. And so that's how I pause the game. And then we have a few different blocks over here. Let's kind of walk through them. One is teleporting a boat. We'll come back to that in a moment. But then there's a few blocks here that are going to teleport an entity named Piggy into the same relative location, but facing a certain direction. And then I will teleport the player to an entity named Piggy. And then I will teleport the player 21 blocks down and facing a particular direction. And so if we go back up here in the sky, sure enough, we have a pig who is very cleverly named Piggy. You can actually see his name tag if we break open the glass up here. Hi, Piggy. How you doing? But we'll go ahead and seal him back up in there. The pig can't move around. And we basically use this as a way to set up relative teleports um, so that we can teleport the player to the same location. And the reason for this is basically given the control scheme that I have here, where you kind of walk around in the pressure plates in order to control the snake, uh, it's easy to kind of like accidentally lose where you are or walk off the platform or different types of things. And so I wanted to make it so you always teleport right back to the very center of the control scheme so you're actually looking at the video screen. And so that's the purpose of those teleport blocks. And as for the boat, it would be useful to be able to fly around the back of the video screen to see what's going on back here. Uh, and so I would like to do that next. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break these three blocks that have all the teleports so that I'll quit teleporting around up there. But then I'm also going to break this redstone block, which will cause the redstone timer to start running again. And we can actually see what's happening while it's going. And so that's going to start things off again. We can see the snake moving to the right. And there's a boat, and the boat is every few seconds getting teleported, another block to the right, and leaving behind a little series. I'm going to look at my feet again to go ahead and pause the simulation. Leaving behind a series of items. And each of these items is slowly despawning over time. And that is kind of the main essence of what's going on in the background with a variety of entities so that we can draw the correct picture on the screen and kind of keep the simulation state. And so let's go take a look at that next. So the boat is kind of the head of the snake. And we already saw that there was teleport the boat negative one in the x direction here. This command block that I'm looking at right here, 
uh, actually gets changed by the four pressure plate controls over here. And so, for example, if I move forward into this one, it will activate this command block, which says set block, command block, and replace a command block that teleports the boat one in the y direction. And so basically, it replaces that command block down there with one that will teleport the boat one up in the y direction. If I turn around over here, this one teleports the boat one downwards in the y direction. And if I look over here, this one teleports the boat negative one in the x. And this one teleports the boat positive one in the x. And so based on whichever pressure plate I've most recently stood up upon, that is going to be the command block that's down here that tells the boat where to teleport next. And so that's how we control the boat. And so every tick, the boat will teleport another one step in a particular direction. And then what do we do? We need to redraw the screen that's in front of the actual uh, boat thing that's going on over there. And so we fill the entire region with obsidian. Then we execute a command at entity type equals boat. So at the location of the boat, we will summon an item. And the item has a particular age. I think it's at age 6,000 that items normally despawn. And so this has a no nice old age so that the item will despawn in just a few seconds. We've already checked out the filling of the obsidian. Also at the boat, we will set block of a relative location four blocks ahead in the Z to an emerald block. And so that ends up being the head of the snake. And then at every other item, which are all of the stone blocks that we are dropping off, uh, we will set block tilde four to stained hardened clay five. And five just happens to be the color of this green that is kind of the body of the snake. And yeah, so basically the boat moves around. It keeps on summoning little items inside of it that are just uh, little stone items that will despawn after a few seconds. And then based on the location of the boat and those other items, we draw the appropriate thing on the screen. And that's kind of all there is to it, really. It's worth noting that in order to have the boat be able to teleport around and not be subjected to gravity, that there is basically a nice row of stone blocks here, and then above that there's a whole lot of rows of carpet. And carpet just has the nice property that you can throw an item up on it and it'll stay in a particular location. You can sit a boat up upon it and it'll go stay in a particular location. But you can still teleport the boat all around and it doesn't mind traveling through the carpet. I showed off how you can look at your feet in order to cause the game to pause. If you want to restart the game, there is a button attached to a command block right here that will set a block to air. It's basically the redstone block that's next to the hopper timer. And so if I press this button, the simulation will start again. At this point, I've already broken the little teleporting blocks, and so I'm not going to get teleported automatically. But I can press this block and then just kind of restart the snake simulation. The little block that I accidentally threw up there uh, is showing off on the map as well. But we can continue controlling the snake and moving all around once again. And so if you want to restart the game, you can always do that. I hope that I've explained this well enough that you at least kind of understand the basic sketch of the idea. But it can be useful to go ahead and take a look at this world on your own to inspect some of the command blocks and see more about what's going on. And so I could give you a world download, but world downloads, they're so Minecraft 1.7. Here we are in the 1.8 snapshots. And so rather than give you a world download, I will simply give you a command you can stick in a single command block in order to replicate this world on your own. And so let's go ahead and show that off now. You'll need to be using one of the Minecraft 1.8 snapshots. You can see in the bottom left, I'm in Minecraft 14 week 8a. But then just go to single player, create a new world, Put it in creative mode, go to more world options, and we're going to customize a super flat using the redstone ready preset that's at the bottom of the list. We'll say generate structures off and go ahead and create a new world. That just creates kind of a blank redstone ready world that looks like this. That's good for doing redstone and command blocks and other things. I'm going to go ahead and grab a redstone block and I will type give at p command underscore block to give myself a command block. I will set down the command block, right click on it to interact, and paste in a gigantic command. And this command will be available to you via a link in the video description. So definitely check the video description to get a link for this command.
But then once you've pasted that in, you can simply set down a piece of redstone and break it once again. And this will start building everything that we just saw in this world simulation. And so if we stand around up here, yeah, there's that. There's all the carpets being built. Uh, there's the redstone on the floor that was controlling everything. There's an item going into the hopper. And here we go. There's our snake simulation. And it's up and running, and you can play around with it yourself. Once again, if you want to pause the game in order to look at the redstone, simply keep scrolling your mouse down to look at your feet until the game finally recognizes that you're looking down. That'll pause the game, you're in creative mode, and you can fly around and inspect all the command blocks for yourself. Hope that you guys enjoy it. Once again, I am Dr. Brian Lorgan111, and I've got some other videos with other redstone tutorials, command block inventions, and scoreboard tutorials in a playlist. You can find the playlist linked in the description of this video. And so yeah, check those things out. If you'd like to see more, you can always subscribe to the channel. I hope that you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.